Hello my YouTube friends. I did a video that mentions how useful nested scenes are in OBS, but I didn't really get into how to create one and set it up. So this video right here, I'm gonna show you some examples of how to use nested scenes and how to set them up. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Nested scenes are a great way to simplify assets that you use all the time, like a soundboard or a camera setup. That way you don't have to recreate the same things in every scene. Each one is gonna be completely consistent. It also means to change something, you only need to change the nested scene, not all the individual scenes that you've used it in. Less complexity is always a good thing when you're live streaming. So let's jump into how to set these up. You can see here I've created three different scenes. This is a wait scene, my main scene, and a tutorial scene where I'm sharing a screen that I can do a tutorial on. Now I'm gonna add a nested scene and this is going to be for my soundboard. So I'm gonna call this one NS-Soundboard and I'm gonna click OK. Now if you've ever created a soundboard, it's pretty simple. You just go into sources, you click the plus and you go to media source. And now I'm just going to create a new one and I'm gonna name it the sound that I'm gonna use. Then I'm gonna browse to find those audio files and I'm gonna click open. Now you're going to wanna make sure that a couple of settings are correct here. Restart playback when source becomes active is really important because we're going to have this source operated by making it active or inactive. And every time we make it active, we want it to play from the very beginning. As long as restart playback when source becomes active is checked, you're all good to go. So you can just click OK. And you're going to see when we do that, it automatically starts playing this recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the volume levels there. Now you can see when I turn the eye icon on and off, it activates that sound. And that's how we're gonna control this soundboard. Let's add some more sounds first before we set it up. I'm just gonna go through here and create new ones and name them properly, go to browse and stick them right into this nested scene. Now, once we have all of our sound files in this nested scene set up the way we want it, the next step of setting up our soundboard is to go ahead and create hotkeys so we can turn these on and off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into the lower right hand corner and we're gonna click on settings and then we're gonna select hotkeys. Now we're gonna scroll down to this nested scene right here, NS soundboard. And we're going to assign keys to each one of these to turn them on and off. And on and off means show or hide. And we're gonna use the same key for show and hide. So when you click the key once, it's gonna show it, meaning play it. And when you click the key again, it's going to hide it, meaning stop playing it. And you're going to wanna make sure that you hide and unhide these every time you use them. Otherwise, when you switch to a scene that has this in it, it will automatically start playing all these. So hitting the hot key will automatically unhide it and then hitting the hotkey again will hide it. So how do we add these to a scene? Well, let's click on the main one here and then I'm gonna click the plus under sources and I'm going to select scene and then I'm going to add existing. I'm gonna select the NS soundboard and there we go. Now our nested scene is in here and anytime I use the hotkeys, it's going to play those sounds. Now I can add it to as many scenes as I want. So we can go into the tutorial and click the plus under sources, add a scene, select my soundboard scene and click OK. And now when I use those hotkeys, the sounds are also here. So it's an easy way to move your soundboard to any scenes that you want, but you only have to create it one time. It's really awesome. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set up nested scenes for camera settings. In this case, I'm gonna add a frame to my normal camera. So it's always there and we never have to worry about how it's set up. So I'm going to click plus under scenes and I'm gonna call this one NS-Camera Frame. And I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm going to go into sources and I'm gonna select my video capture device. Of course, that's my camera. I've already got it set up, so I don't need to set anything up. Now that it's added in here, all I have to do is click this plus and I'm going to go ahead and add a media source. Now my frame is something I created earlier and I just basically created a frame that I wanted to use and added some color and animation to it. So it's a video source. And then I just go into browse 
and I find the animated frame and I click OK and I want this to loop so it plays that animation over and over again. Now our frame and video is in our scene. All we have to do is resize it. So I'm going to select the scene and I'm going to use the space bar and the scroll button on the mouse to zoom out. And now I'm just going to resize this frame so it fills up my entire canvas. And I'm going to scroll out a little more. There we go. We're just going to try to fit this in here as best we can. Now we're going to resize our video scene. And once I get it in there pretty nicely, I can just use the arrow keys to kind of adjust its location. So now it's fully centered inside our frame, looking pretty good. So now we have our scene set up. Our nested scene is this camera that we're going to use, and it looks pretty nice. I really like it. So let's add this scene to our other scenes. In our tutorial scene, we already have camera in there. So I'm just going to remove that camera and we're going to add our nested scene in here. So we're going to go to scenes, we're going to add existing and we're going to add our camera frame. And there we go. Now we just need to resize it however we want. You can see we can move it around and it moves the camera with the frame and everything. It's just perfect. Really easy stuff. We'll go into our main scene and we're going to replace this camera as well so that we have it with the frame. And all you have to do is remove it and then click plus. We're going to go to scenes and then we're going to add the camera frame and click OK. And there we go. Our scene is now in there. Now, let me show you how you can edit these just using this nested scene right here. And I'm going to adjust the actual look of the scene. So I'm going to right click on my video capture device and I'm going to go to filters. And under effect filters, I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to color correction and click OK. Now I'm just going to adjust this so it's more to my liking. I like when the blues stand out and I adjust the brightness down. I want to make sure that I'm clearly visible, but the background is kind of more blurred out. That's just the look that I like. I'm going to lower the saturation so I don't look quite so red. And I think that probably looks about right. So you can see that it's actually transferred over to the nested scene. So when I click close, any of the other scenes that I've used this nested scene in are going to have the exact same look. I don't have to change it in every scene. I only have to change it in the one scene. I mean, that is just incredible. It's awesome. It's going to save you so much time. If you're not using nested scenes, you definitely should start using them. It's going to make your broadcast so much less complicated and so much easier to adjust on the fly. I absolutely love it. Are there other ways that you use nested scenes in OBS? Leave me a comment and let me know. And if you want to learn about other advanced OBS techniques that you should be using for your live streams, check this video out. And if you're looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.